Hello, sweet souls. Happy Thursday. It's January 18th. This is going to be part two. So uh, we're going to call in St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will, your thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call in the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors and ask for a message for your greater good. So let's see what comes out. If you haven't watched part one, go ahead and watch it. It is a really good reading. Uh, I love it. And I do see a huge shift for the better for you guys. So let's see. What else do we need to know about the current energy? We're just going to use the Rider weight. Current energy. Current energy. Yeah, a brand new door is opening up for you. Um, there was a blockage here. Someone tried to create a tower preventing you from having a brand new beginning, but you're too wise. You are the hermit energy. You stayed private. You went within for answers and you didn't allow whatever projection people were sending to create an ending for you. Yeah, you're headed right toward the sun. Happiness, joy, success, enlightenment. You know what's up. You can't be deceived. For the collective. Ooh, yeah. You got communication coming in, and it's truth. Someone is coming in to reveal some sort of truth to you. What is this truth? Oops. What is this truth? The truth is you're a star, you're a healer, and someone tried to block you. So you're getting truth information about people that were operating in the dark, uh, trying to block you. What else do we need to know? You guys are already aware of this. You're already, you're very intuitive. You're very wise, but somebody wants to come forward and communicate this. What is this? Yeah. You know, it's good news to you because you're val you're getting validation from the truth you already know. But this person is deep in regret. Why are they in regret? <sighs> because no matter how strong or confident or egotistical they believed they were, they're still facing endings. They can't get out of it. No amount of willpower, no amount of ego will get them out of the mess that they're in and they're experiencing endings. That's why they have regret. You're protected. You protect yourself and the divine protects you. So they can't get to your energy because you see through the illusion. You already know the truth. So this person cannot weasel their way back in. You know, this is somebody that likes to play head games. They every Life is a game to this person. They want to win at all costs. So they project images. You know, maybe this person project, told the world that you cheated, you lied, you stole. You did all that they did to you, and people believe them. So they thought, well, that's great. Let's go one step further. Let's try to destroy the collective and what they're doing. Let's block them. Let's defame them so that I really look like I'm the winner. That will never work because you're too perseverant. You didn't give up on yourself. You didn't give up on God. You didn't. So they couldn't. It didn't work. It wouldn't work. So now they're left with all of the things that they've done that people are aware of looking like a fool. Looking like a fool. Hold on a second, guys. Because you're, you're moved on. Not only are you moving on, but you're being moved on to victory and success. Your life got better when God removed this person. Your life got better. Plain and simple. Yeah, you embrace a new beginning and release this devil. You release them. You saw right through their toxicity and their mask. There was no hiding it. And their deception. You saw right through it. Things are clear. You see, dark energies can only manipulate people that are in a lower vibration. They can't manipulate Empress energy. An Empress energy is in divine light. Uh, Empress Energy is very wise. She's learned all the lessons of all the queens. So she's perceptive. She's intelligent. She's abundant. She's very grounded. She's patient. And she is very intuitive. The Empress cannot be fooled by this type of energy. No. It'll never work. And this person is realizing it didn't work. And now they are the one in heartbreak. You probably told this person you will end up breaking your own heart. But the arrogance, their arrogance, uh, they didn't want to believe it. Yeah. So now this person has gone to 
a karmic connection where there is no love um, for greed. This is someone from the past and it's been a living nightmare because what they expected to receive from a karmic relationship was not what they got. The money, the love and adoration that you gave them because you were codependent, most of you. And so this person is severely disappointed. Yeah, now this love bomber, this emotional manipulator is getting breadcrumbed by the karmic because that's what they did to you. And that's how karma works. They're stuck, stuck reliving all of their poor choices, trapped, unable to escape. They could escape. You know, the Eight of Swords is not someone that's permanently stuck. It's a mental game. They feel stuck. But you know why this masculine is stuck? Because they're so filled with false ego and pride that they can't dare let anyone know that they made the wrong decision, that they were malicious, that they lied, that they, you know, did so many things to try to destroy an empress. They would rather die than tell the truth. Yeah, they don't want anyone to know that they worked with a group of people to come against their their own soulmate. Yeah, they're just miserable. This person is so miserable. Look at this. They just can't even stand them themselves to even look in the mirror at themselves. You know, they're a money hungry masculine for sure. And you walked away, could have been a marriage, could have been a long-term commitment, but you walked away from this person. God guided you, God guided you to walk away and to heal because this person was only bringing you massive imbalance. This person was juggling this person. Yeah, this person's being defeated and losing financially now. Because the cycle's closed. They can't access your energy. They can't use your energy to manifest. Because when you're in light, you're able to manifest anything. When you're in dark, the only way you can manifest would be to manipulate the energy to try and siphon from another. This masculine could be a fire sign. They are confused. They're in an illusion. They're also delusional. This person is living in a fantasy world that doesn't exist. And they're being burned at the same time. By Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. An emotional manipulator that is matching this person's energy. You know, you are... You attract what you are. The vibration that you are. If you are a dark, soulless individual who lies, cheats, and steals to get their way, guess what? The person you call into your reality will match that exact energy. And that's what's happened. And you don't want this person. They're too dark, too disloyal, too sneaky. You have no interest in this person. You're like, no, thank you. Yeah. You are making long-term plans. You are building a legacy for yourself, financial stability, and you are moving on, you know, big changes, big developments moving forward. You're the high priestess, highly favored, of high honor, connected to the divine, connected to God, and you are God's baby, and God is protecting you. Yeah, your good karma is coming in. Financial stability and security. Yep, it's faded. It's faded for you to have this passionate new beginning that leads to so much happiness, joy, success, emotional fulfillment. And past people that tried to create blockages are watching and they are experiencing their karma. Justice is aligning for you. That wheel of fate and destiny, everything is aligning for you. Why? Because you have put in the work. Instead of investing in petty games, vengeance, and tit for tat, you said, I'm going to put the work into myself, my creative projects, and I'm going to create something amazing. That's, that's beautiful. I love it. All right, let's get the moonology. I made a big, huge mess on this desk, guys. Wow. All right. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to be aware of, please? The collective need to be aware of. We got conclusions are within reach. 
and you're very close to achieving your goal. Work through your fears. Anything else? You and your loved ones are safe. We got what you need to release because a new romantic cycle begins. Okay, that's awesome. All right, guys, this is part two. I love you and I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye.